Hello everybody, just by Tech Geeks here. This is PC Types Part Two. The first type of PCR on this lecture is a multiplex PCR. In this technique, multiple targets are amplified in a single run in a single PCR tube. Multiple primer pairs are seen in the reaction mixture and up to 8 primer pairs could be used. We need to make sure that the primers are proper and in accordance with the genes that need amplification. We need to make sure that the lengths of the gene are a bit similar since elongation time differs with different genes. The products are then checked on the gel using gel electrophoresis. Nested PCR is one of the many PCRs used. In this technique, there are two PCR steps involved by using outer and inner primers. The first one is carried out using the aid of the outer primer and this results in amplifying the standard strand. The second one is carried out using the inner primers which concentrates more on the target DNA inside the standard strand. This method increases the specificity of the target gene that needs to be amplified. It is a very accurate method, but it is time consuming. This is a pictorial representation of nested PCR, where the first reaction produces the standard strand, while the second reaction produces the target strands. Reverse transcriptase PCR. Reverse transcriptase PCR is one of the techniques that aids in measuring RNA expression levels. Many samples, like viral samples, have RNA as their nucleic material. Reverse transcriptase PCR allows us to convert the RNA into complementary DNA. The cDNA produced is then amplified to exponential numbers. Here, RNA's H is used so as to remove all the RNA strands after cDNA synthesis. Here is a representation of reverse transcriptase PCR. We could see that the RNA molecule has a start codon and a poly A tail. The primers, which have usually oligo DDs in this case, bind to the poly A tail and with the help of reverse transcriptase and DNTPs, the new cDNA strand is created. The cDNA is a single strand molecule and this is amplified to produce amplicons of great number using TAC polymerase. The final type of PCR in this lecture is probably the most important one employed in many fields of study. It's the real-time PCR. This type of PCR is also known as kinetic PCR, qPCR, qRT-PCR and RTQPCR. The Q in front denotes that it could be quantitatively used for determining the PCR product. This quantitative property could be calculated using probes or binding dyes, wherein after each PCR cycle, fluorescence is emitted which could be recorded and graphed. This is a very accurate and precise method. There are two types of RT-PCR based on the molecules used for detection. Non-specific detection using DNA binding dyes and specific detection target specific probes. These two types differ with respect to the dye or probe being used. In non-specific detection, the dye randomly attached to the strand uh, emits light at the end of each cycle after it is detached from the strand. Here, cybergreen and ethidium bromide is used. Stating that ETBR is carcinogenic, cybergreen is used since it's safe and better. In this case, the amount of fluorescence emitted is directly proportional to the product accumulated. In the specific detection target specific probes method, probes like Tacman molecular beacons are used. These probes are oligonucleotides with fluorescent dyes and a quencher dye. They specifically bind to a particular sequence in the strand and emit light in the form of fluorescence at the end of each cycle after being detached. This is a comparison of the types of RT-PCR where cybergreen used is non-specific in binding 
whereas Tachman is very specific in binding to the strand. So as the reaction proceeds, the molecules bound are released so as to obtain a fluorescence which is then recorded in each cycle. This is then graphed taking cycle number on the x-axis and fluorescence on the y-axis. An interesting fact, a pathogenic virus called coronavirus. The genetic material of this particular virus is RNA. The detection of the virus is done using combination of two types of PCR that we have seen today. Scientists analyze the samples using a combination of reverse transcriptase and real-time PCR. Since the virus is made up of RNA, cDNA are created using specific primers and finally amplification is done using the cDNAs as templates along with the dyes and probes. This enables us to know if a person is COVID positive or negative. Thank you so much for listening.